not everyone on this offense has touched the rock just yet, and that first touch could always ease any nerves that the players might be having. Caden Perry, short-stick defensive midfielder and a captain. Helps bring it to the offensive end, and then putting it in the goal is Bruno. Chase Bruno, sophomore out of Illinois, has got his 12th of the year. Dominant number Mike Daly. The new regime trying to get things going here. Tagley Fair, think about a hat trick. He's got it. How about three for three from deep? Charlie Tagley of Ferry's got another. And Tufts has another lead here in the first quarter, making 3-2. Eight shots, all and six of them on goal. They're playing incredible across right now. Ethan Spillane, sophomore for RIT, in the faceoff dot, takes the draw. But Salcedo and company have got the faceoff win again. There's a shot. It's another for Tufts. Dale Cristo, the shorty off the wing. He's got the fifth of the day for the Jumbos. Eat better at the faceoff dot. And also, they've got to get some stops from their netminder. And that's a nice little play between the legs to the long pole. RIT wins their first faceoff of this contest. Finally, Hunter Fitzgibbons off the wing partner does grab the ground ball. And they got possession. A little shell shocked here, the Tigers. To begin this one today, a little give and go play. Slam dunk. Goal is in. Count that one for RIT and Spillane. Of all the shots on Cage been amazing. No need. These guys are not playing deep into the shot clock no, at all. not at all. How Pouring it on here for Tufts. He's in the books, too. Garrett Kelly. Up here, as we talked about the Salisbury on this field last year. A lot of talk from the team from Boston this week about getting so close a year ago, having that tough start. They have not had a bad start here today. That's been exactly the opposite. Battle there. Regnery lost the rock near the back 15. And near side GLA is taken away by RIT. So the Tigers aggressive. Something they really needed. At the midfield line. Finner and across. And shoots. He scores. Response RIT. Connor Finner has got his fourth. Out of Andover, Massachusetts. It's an answer for RIT in transition to make it 8-4. Much needed goal to stop this jumbo run. Brunson watched closely there. Shoved to the turf. Caden Brunson regains his footwork. Mosrall's got one already. Feeding in front. It's another for RIT. What a pass. What a finish. Erickson and Mosrall. Great combination. We thought we'd had a lot of offense today. Here in Philly, we're getting just that. RIT responds again. Just get the feeling, RIT weathering their storm in the first quarter. The amazing start from Tufts, and the momentum has shifted back a bit. Chase Bruno trying to get free, passing instead. Hits in. Another goal, RIT response for the Tigers. Brunson goes low off the grass and buries the first goal of the second quarter. Tigers make it 8-6. So it's a possibility. Brunson's been busy. Passing there for Pilcher. Big offensive threat, six and orange. Here's a crank. Here's a score. It's Bruno. Loose from 10 yards out. Righty rip. Each team's big offensive day continues. Make it 9-7 in our back and forth shootout. Whoever can make double-digit saves for their ball club, that might be the team that wins. Only a total of seven saves so far in the championship game here. It has not been the headline. It's been the high percentage shooting. Uh, lots of goals. On Championship Sunday here. Pass in front. Shovel goal. RIT cashing in. Dinga loose. He's got his first. And the high percentage shooting continues. Goaltending struggling continues. It's 9-8. Game kind of numbers. Gaston 109 points. Erickson 103 points. Pretty productive group. That pass in front. Easy lay-in goal. RIT cashing in. Extra man for the Tigers. It's Harkins. Doorstep. Why shoot it hard when you just lob it in the net? And the cash-in EMO tally ties this game. For the Jumbos to begin half number two. Fire scored a moment ago. Righty crank. Lefty crank on a bounce. Stop this time. Good vision for Zborowski. As Dixie talked about, just three first half saves. Give him four for the game now. Quickly upfield. Quickly in the net for Pilcher. In his stick, in the goal, in a heartbeat. What a shot. A lefty laser 
for the grad student from Oakville, Ontario, on the board here today. Our zone, but a reset on the shot clock here. Something we haven't seen a lot. With a rebound. Deep shot. Another goal. Erickson this time. Righty blast. Goes low. Uses the turf. Beats Garzon. It's another for RIT. And we're tied again here on Championship Sunday. Lee's doing a nice job on Gaston. Even though they're in a zone, he is the man down low responsible for the talented scorer for the RIT Tigers. Kelly free from Mount Regnery. Cranks and scores! Jack Regnery's got another one. All-American for Tufts. Jumbos expand the lead here in our back and forth third quarter, Mega 13-11. One thing you can't have is a sloppy outlet pass. Mike Grace, Hamilton, Ontario at 6-5, grabs it. Pilcher and company, offensive end group for RIT. One more pass. Hits in the net for the Tigers. Finally on the board today is Gaston. Tigers waiting all day for that to happen. The juniors got a 74th of the year to cut it to a one-goal game. It is backed up, though, by RIT and Ethan Harkins. Final second shot clock cycle. Can it be? Pilcher drives toward the cage. He shoots. He scores. Let's see if it counts. What an effort. Officials talk it over. Count the goal for RIT and Luke Pilcher. Beats the buzzer, end of the shot clock cycle for RIT. It's another for the Tigers. Guess what? We're tied again, 13 apiece. Tufts will re-trigger here in the final moments of the third. Yeah, back at even strength. Hauser back 15. Six-foot pole matchup. Pass in front. Somehow the stop with a pipe. With an absolute doorstep attempt there from Bayer trying for another one in the second half. And there's the horn. There is the end of the third. What a save. Zborowski up to the task. Now the goaltender, Dixie, will flip the script after a tough start to the game here today. Patient offense here for Tufts. Kramer, Emming, second line midfield out. Casey Denolfo's team, Hauser up top. Big shot, big score from deep. Regnery gets loose, and the righty hammer does not miss. It's another for Tufts. What a laser from long range. Jumbos retake the lead. Under seven to go in regulation. This is a very big Tufts possession. Kelly again. He shoots and scores. Give him four. Garrett Kelly. Another for the Jumbos. Lead expands to three. Desperate to get it with Perry into the box. Five to go in regulation. Down by three. They need some good things to happen. And there's one. Pilcher free. A rocket. Another for RIT. Tigers close to within a pair. Fielder for RIT. Regnery. Passing for Hauser. Thought about a shot. Great collapsing defense. Shot. It was actually a pass. And it eventually comes to 28 and Brown. On a bounce for Bayer. It's a lucky play. Shovel, shot, or pass. Bayer finds it. Bayer buries it. Winning goal. We'll see. Lead at three, French, head to head, critical draw here at the midfield line. Who's got it? Tufts again, charging in a shot. It's another goal. It's the Jumbos looking good for a title. Tufts face off win and a goal. Final moments from Philly. Tufts will run this one out and the Jumbos are about to win their fourth national championship in school history. It's official. Tufts has won the 2024 NCAA Division III National Championship. The Jumbos are jumping in Philly. They take it over RIT today. Four title school history, first Dixie in nine years. And a wire-to-wire -wire type win. Great start, weathering several RIT storms, and a fantastic finish.